Before you bottle, you want to make sure that your beer's finished fermenting. We've been using a hydrometer in this course. We can see that fermentation is well and truly finished now at 1008. Now's the time to bottle it. You want to bottle your beer gently. So you don't want to introduce oxygen into your beer at this point. It's already fermented and any extra oxygen now is going to cause staling quite quickly and it's going to ruin your beer. Also you want to make sure you've got the correct amount of sugar in your bottle. So too little and your beer is going to be flat or undercarbonated. Too much and your beer is going to be overcarbonated which will, will cause explosions and, and problems with pouring it later down the track. So it's important to get the, the correct amount of priming sugar into the bottle. There's some simple tools and products around which can make bottling really easy. One of these is a bottling wand. This is a, is a device that sits on the end of your fermenter when you're bottling. It's got a valve on the end of it which is going to stop drips and spilling and mean that your bottle is going to be filled up quite gently. The other thing I recommend is uh, about three feet of food grade tubing. You slip this on the end of your fermenter and you slip it on the end of your bottling wand as well. So it gives you some flexibility to bottle the beers where they sit and it'll make the, the process a lot easier. The other thing I really recommend are carbonation caps. They look like a, a sweet or a lolly and you drop these in each bottle um, at the correct dosage and you've just carbonated your beer. These will make bottling really easy because you're not measuring out sugar and it's really simple and there's no guesswork involved. I recommend using glass over plastic. It's sturdier and easier to clean. You can really get in there and scrub it without scratching the wall and creating spaces for, for microbes and bacteria to sit. If they're used bottles, soak them overnight in a solution of PPW and hot water. The next morning you'll find the label slide right off. You might need to use a scrubber or something to get the glue off the bottle. Give them a rinse to clean them out. Mix up a fresh solution of PPW at the uh, correct rate. I'm using half a tablespoon per half a gallon or two litres of hot water today. So using a funnel, half fill up one of the bottles with PPW. Get your scrubbing brush and give it a really good scrub inside to clean the bottle. Transfer this solution to the next bottle and just keep doing it until your bottles are all clean. Give this a rinse out, your bottles are now clean. Clean down your bottling area so you've got a lot of room and you can work quite easily. You'll need three feet of plastic tubing, your bottling wand, some caps, carbonation drops and a capper. Sanitise everything down with your star sand solution. To sanitise the bottles I fill them with a little bit of star sand. I'll give them a good shake with this and using a funnel transfer that to the next bottle and work through. Drain this solution out. Lay a towel down underneath uh, your fermenter so you can catch any spills. Make sure you clean out the end of the tap on the fermenter. Often there's some wet residue around here which can harbour some bacteria and microbes. So give it a good clean and spray. Sanitise your tubing and your bottling wand. Soak the end of your tubing in hot water to soften it and fit it to the end of the fermenter. And line your bottles up ready to be filled. Put your caps in a bowl with sanitizer in it so they're soaking in and sanitary. Put a carbonation cap in, in each at the rate recommended by the manufacturer. And all you simply do is put the bottling wand in the bottle, press to the bottom until it's full and move on to the next one. As you move through, put the caps on the bottle to seal those up. You then go on to cap them. You've got a few options with cappers. I'm using a mallet type where I give them a tap with a hammer and, uh, and that'll seal the bottle. There's other options like bench cappers uh, and handheld. My preference is for the bench capper, but the mallet's pretty simple. Just make sure you don't hit it too hard and that the cap crimps down over the crown of the bottle. These bottles now need to sit in a warm area for around two weeks 